Welcome back, viewers. Uh, the, to answer the question that everyone keeps asking, I will get the um, DLC, the From Ashes DLC. The uh, The only problem is that every single time I try to buy it, the Origin servers kind of crap out, and it, it comes up with these unknown errors. So, um, obviously not too much I can do in that case. I figure, though, I'll, I'll eventually be able to get it. It's just, uh, yeah. Hello, sir. Well, let us uh, try that again. After my game appears to have crashed. Oddly enough, let's see if I can speak with Joker. Maybe this side. <laughs> hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> You're surprised. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> Fair enough, Joker. Let us, uh, let's continue to investigate our new home. Wow, there is uh, there is quite a lot. Captain's cabin. Let's head up here. Let's see our home. That's our private terminal. We need fish. We definitely need fish. Armor locker. Uh, where's that? Oh my God. Well. Yeah. Cattle. What the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta like that for casual. My jacket and jeans. I like it. Melee damage shields ten percent. What does this do? Helmet. Health plus ten percent. I'm just looking through if you uh you all don't mind. I don't really want the melee damage and seven there. Uh, it's basically just the Gotcha. We'll uh, we'll stick with this new Reckoner Knight. I think this comes from uh, Amalar for the demo of that. I like it though. That looks kind of. I probably won't keep that forever, but and I I do kind of like Shepard and and just you know casual leather jacket and sound system. So forgive me as I... Combat Information Center. Let's see, I see the word. Okay, that's where we came from. Crew deck. Let's see what we've got. Oh, Liara's set up down here, is she? Men's restroom. <sighs> little shower action. Not, I'm not too fond of the whole, like, could, could we not... We're in the future. Can we not set up a little divider? Really? J just a little divider. You know, I, I, I don't think that's too much to ask. I, I really don't. And where's the women's restroom? Oh. A bit of uh, poker going on? I think. And th this... Little cigar? I like it. A bar, but no bartender. I could really go for a drink. This is ridiculous. I... I'm... No. This will not do. I need a bartender on staff 24-7. I... This... This will not do. If Shepard needs a drink... Uh, crew quarters. Hello! Women's 
first room. <laughs> Starboard observation deck. Ah, oh, so this is more the relaxing one. I'd admit, it'd be kind of cool. It's your ship rocking out. I would kind of like to, you know, get to know my crew again. Hey, Shepard, we haven't seen you since, you know, you... Uh, what's up? Oh, nothing, guys. I, you know, reassigned power bonuses? Oh, okay. I guess I don't need any su surgery thing. AI core. Who is... It? what? Oh. The husky thinger-dinger. You know, are we, are we sure that this thing is dead? Can... can I would really feel more comfortable if it was, like, shackled and, you know, roped up and tied up. I, I just... I don't trust dead things to stay dead. <laughs> I, call me paranoid. Hello, Litara. You've... My god, it's the Matrix. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Hello, Glyph. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. I'm just glad it didn't speak in an English accent. You know, I was hoping this new council would be a little more helpful than the last one. The meeting was less than ideal. I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. <laughs> I'm flattered, I think. Hello, Liara. Liara? What is all this stuff? After you left for Earth, I had the chance to track down the information trader who'd kidnapped my friend. It wasn't easy, but I found the shadow broker and took over his information network. You're running that from the Normandy? What I can. Not all of the old broker's networks remained intact, but I have agents. So you took over as the galaxy's most famous information trader? Yes. Notorious <laughs> might be a better term. At least it means I can help research this Prothean device. What do we know? It's far too dangerous to use until we understand it. Did they finish it? Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's hope. There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. You will. It's the war we warned everyone about for years. And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. Huh. Thanks. <laughs> well, we'll check a bow for old time's sake. Nothing. Fair enough. Are you, are you telling me or are you telling her? Because we're we're <sighs> can't get a firefly out of my head now. The opening theme song. <laughs> Mm 
It was such a great show. I'm so upset that they canceled that after one season. I did see Serenity, the movie of it, but... Man, it was such a good show. Like Space Cowboys. You could not get cooler than Space Cowboys. Head down to engineering. Oh. Engineering. Port. I'm sure this is where the crew is going to end up. Oh, hey! Engineer Adams! Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Why is everyone's Engineer hand so Adams. dirty? What are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why? Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. <laughs> yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Okay. <laughs> Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. <laughs> Do your job or get vaporized. Jeez. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means... We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I realize this may not be the most entertaining, but I would like to get to know my crew a little bit and get to know my ship before, uh... What is this? Model Terrian Cruiser. Hey. I'm stealing. We. Hey! <gasps> I got Boo! I got Boo! I got a space hamster! Oh! Such happiness! Let's check out this core. Too many people rush through this stuff without. We, uh, we gonna pull a Star Trek, just eject the core after, like, you know, 15 minutes of flight? Oh no! Eject the core! Alright, we've got just the shuttle bag.
Weapons bench. Um, weapon mods. I mean, that's... Oh, God. Hello. Is there another sniper rifle? No, there's no other sniper rifle that we have. So let's... Let us... Sniper rifle concentration. Increase damage by 5%. Speeds perception by 25%. Enhancing aim for a brief time. Increases damage by 15%. Let's go with this. And this. Because that's really all we can do. Confirm, please. And then let's take a look at this assault rifle. I guess I have no modifications for that. Shotgun, I think we do have, yeah, we do have modification on the shotgun. Damage by 15, bullet 25%. Ah, so that's an armor puncher. I don't necessarily want that. Increasing shot. Yeah, I don't necessarily want an armor buster. I'm not going to keep all this on. I kind of just want the modifications and seeing weapon weight by 50%. Well, okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, can I... Oh, right. I think I will keep the shotgun. The shotgun, these... Oh, wow, that's... That still really has me... Yeah, I guess I won't keep the shotgun. Let's, uh... Let's just keep our heavy... No, not the heavy. The submachine gun, because that's less weight. I like it. Okay. So we... Chakram 2, Mantis 2. 3,000. Well, we've got plenty of money. Can I... I mean, we've got plenty of money, and this is the, the main weapon that I use. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Procurement interface. Buy biogel, buy shotgun pistol, and assault rifle mods. Sniper rifle, thermal clip. Adds a socket to increase thermal clip. Increases spare shot capacity by increasing. Yeah. Iron Man? Sorry, so I'm just kind of looking around here, folks, and uh, I'm I'm kind of just enjoying to see. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Well, uh, it's good about your family. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather Props not Props Bioware! Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Hmm. 
How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. <laughs> cool. That's our, uh... Yeah, the Mantis. I'm just, I'm a big fan of the, uh... The sniper rifle. Even though I'm not very good with it. <laughs> well, let's, um... Let's go. Uh... I'll cut the video here, and in the next, we'll get ready for our mission. As always, thanks for watching, folks, and tune in the next. Thanks for watching, folks.